All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, Texas Decal King, uh, instructional video for the, in this case, the Civic Type R. But uh, these these taillight covers will fit uh, the other designs as well. I'm going to make different designs. I'm also going to make uh, overlays for these, which will use the same uh, same uh, way of putting them on. But these are kind of like hidden back up in here, so you'll, you'll have to just, you know, kind of use a squeegee edge just to get them up in there and hit them. Now, <clears throat> okay, so what you're going to start off with is the decal. I'm missing the left because I already already installed those, as you can see right here. And I haven't installed them yet here. So there's the difference. I'm going to pull back here so you can see. Excuse the messy shop. There's the difference. Yes, I'm a disabled veteran, so I do have uh, flags on my wall that some may or may not like. So I do not apologize for that. But if you don't like it, turn off my channel. <laughs> With that being said, <clears throat> moving along here, we got, <clears throat> excuse me, this used to have 70% uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol on it. I usually use 90% diluted down like 70% with distilled water, but in this case, I used a 70 to distill it about, you know, I mean, mixed it down about um, maybe, uh, let's see, maybe 40% instead of the normal 70. <clears throat> excuse me, it's allergy season. Uh, I'm gonna be clearing my throat sadly a lot. Um, Got a microfiber cloth here, very clean. Don't don't get most you know stuff in it, debris, something you use on something else has it'll scratch your uh, plastic. Put a little bit of this on there, which I've already done, and this is my uh, application fluid. You can use soapy water, which is like a small, like not even a not even a half a cap of Dawn in a full spray bottle. And the spray bottle like this, a couple drops of Dawn, shake it up, and it'll give you the same effect without having to pay the extra money for the uh, overpriced stuff that I use. Okay, so here's the decal, here's how it comes. So you'll you'll get the sheet, it'll come in like this. I'll probably have it cut up a little smaller to fit in the, in the envelopes, you know, more efficiently, but this is the right, this tells you this is right, and this is left, and left, of course, is now applied to the So This is the corner <clears throat> right there. This is the center, or I guess you would call it towards the center of the car. So you'll, you'll start by peeling this off, and what you're gonna do is, oh, by the way, I almost forgot here, heat gun. This is uh, this is a Harbor Freight Bauer Special. I think I got it for like thirty dollars. Now they're up to like thirty-five or forty, but times change. I keep by setting on three, which is considered medium or halfway to, to seven, and then I use the <coughs> excuse me the high mode. You can use low, medium, whatever you're accustomed to. I use high because I move the uh, I move the heat gun a lot. So I'm gonna put that up under here. You want to make sure keep that away from things that can get hot and burn whenever you are uh, setting it down. And you also want to make sure the cord stays plugged in, especially when you're in the middle of uh, squeegeeing out. Uh, so you're going to take this off right here. The best way to do it is just take a little bit of paper, kind of peel it back until you see the edge stick out. And then without touching it too much at all, because you don't want too much of your skin oils on these decals, peel it back, lay it upside down, you know, sticky side up so you're not getting any dirt on it. Take it over. Don't do this. Don't do what I'm about to do uh, with all the decals on the paper. Take it off to like a table or somewhere. I'm only going to do it because I'm used to doing this. And you don't want to get that liquid over here because it'll start softening up the glue and wet and make the uh, paper stick to the decal while, that, while you're doing the other decal. So I wet it down nicely. If you're using soap and water, of course, it's the same thing. I'm going to take it over here. I'm going to position it. Where you want it, I'm gonna make that corner right there. I'm gonna put this right on the top edge. You can see right here where the clear stops. And then maybe go slightly a little higher. It's up to your preference. I made it so you can kind of adjust it, but it's made to fit in right down here. You'll know it's in the right spot if it fits right down in the indentation on the bottom. So it, it's, I made it, designed it to fit right in there. So it kind of gives it a, an even uh, approach. <coughs> Excuse me, now I will say, you have to use a squeegee with a felt tip. If you don't, you're gonna scratch the material. I use this one, I think I got it a long time ago from U.S. Cutter. I spray, I take the sprayer, soapy water, whatever you have, spray the edge, kind of swap it around. Don't get it too wet, but get it, you know, get it damp. Because when you use the heat gun, it's going to make that vinyl hot, and you're going to scratch it. So when you come on here, so start here. Excuse the messy shop, I haven't had a chance to clean up this yet. You're going to start right at the, there's, an, there's actually a little, a little uh, raised edge right here of, of a piece in the light that uh, is raised plastic. So start your squeegee edge, kind of push it up against that to straighten everything out. And then go this way ever so slowly, pushing water, pushing all that liquid over to the edge here. 
and then come downwards. You see that liquid le leaking out right there? You're gonna start pushing all that liquid out. Then you're gonna come over this little th little edge here and kind of give it just a little just a little smash. It's not gonna stick right now because it's wet. Come up to the top, push it up to the top. You see that stuff squirting out. And you're gonna do this kind of in a 360 degree fashion all the way around until you see most of the liquid out. And this is when the heat gun comes into play. So <clears throat> doing this in one hand is not gonna be fun, but I'm gonna attempt it. So take the heat gun, move quickly around the area, the edges. That way kind of, you'll see the edges kind of wrinkle a little bit. That means it's, you know, got the fluid under there. It's heating it up, not boiling it, but you know, it's making it warm kind of making it misty, but it's also slightly drying it. Turn your heat gun off, put it down to a safe spot, not on your leg. Come back over here, do the same thing again. Up, over, down. You're gonna start seeing those bubbles chase. If you get like a wrinkle, don't don't try to smash it. You, you wanna push with the wrinkle uh, towards an edge so that all that wrinkle is, is the air trapped inside or some of the liquid. And if you'll notice, because I know there's gonna be a lot of picky people out there, you're gonna have little air bubbles. You gotta kind of like give a little bit of pressure, squish those out, put them down to the edge. But this little spot right here, you can see that. Yeah, there you go. That's actually the factory dot in the uh, plastic of the tail light. So you can't. <clears throat> this one has it as well. So you're gonna have spots here and here, no matter what you do, because that's made into the tail light for the molding. Uh, I guess from the mold recolor for the mold itself at the factory. So you can't, can't get around that unless you want to sit there and wet sand it down and fill it in with some kind of clear stuff, which would be really stupid, truthfully. It'd mess up the tail light more than likely and it wouldn't accomplish much of anything. Now, you see on here, this is a little indented line right here. Excuse my, my fingernails, I've been working with the color printer. There's an indented line right here. You're gonna take that felt squeegee, preferably a thinnest one you can get, and most of them are pretty thin. You're gonna heat up the substrate again, or the vinyl, or you wanna call it. You're gonna run it up and down about two inches away until you see it start to wrinkle a little bit. <clears throat> and then you're gonna let off, turn off the heat gun, put it away safely. Take this again, go go out to the edge of the tail light so you're pushing anything that's on that little uh, popped out piece right here because you can see there's air bubbles around that. They're gonna stay around it for a while until you get it really warm and dry and all the air pushed out. So get all that air off the indentation, I mean the uh, raised edge, raised piece right here. Get on the back of it, get it on the front of it, try to get the top of it, try to get all that air out if you have to go around like this, squishing it out. Once you get it satisfiably out, come here <clears throat> where you just wet and just take a quick little small soft drag down there to get any water inside the indentation out. It's a line in the tail light, like it's built into the tail lights on this side of this one and this side of this one. Now this one is designed, <clears throat> I designed the edge to sit right on the edge. You'll see in the next one, I, I actually made a little bit of oversize because I, I wanted it to wrap over since that's gonna be exposed to elements and opening and closing. And also you'll see it more when you open up the, uh, the trunk. But <clears throat> anyway, so, <clears throat> excuse me, there. Try it again here with the heat gun. Hit that thing. You can do the whole thing if you want, but Really, you can save this for later. You're not really gonna be worrying about that. You wanna get this the most important part to get out and get it solidified. This will get it stuck. And you see I'm drying up that extra water that's on the squeegee on the felt pad. And you see on the felt pad with that little bit of moisture I put on there, it's letting it drag nicely. This is the same thing you do with window tent to keep it from scratching the window tent and digging into it. Drag that down there again. Just keep doing this until until it's you know pretty much out. Like anything you can see is out. You can also roll it over to the edge, look slowly. It's got a smooth, smooth feel to it. You can you can decide what you feel is best for for your hands and your pressure of what you think you can handle. You know without tearing it. It's really hard to tear this material unless you get it really hot and you just really, really try to manhandle it, uh, rough handle it. Whatever you want to call it, rough hard pause it. So do that. Come back here again. Keep on doing this until everything is pretty much wrinkle-free, then leave this, set it aside, well, leave it aside, and we're gonna head on over to the <clears throat> other piece. So we're gonna do the same thing again. Roll this paper back until that tip hangs over. Roll back a little more, peel that up nicely. Now, you don't have any more decals. At this point, it's the second one, so you can use the same backing paper to spray your, uh, excuse my fingertips there, it's hard to hold this phone and film. So you're gonna take this, Peel it back, 
lay it upside down, spray it. Spray that squeegee one more time a little bit because it's dried out by now from using the last one. And of course, take their alcohol rag. Should be, you should already done it by now and wipe this thing down nice and clean, get all the dust, get anything that's, you know, any dust gets under there, it's gonna, you're gonna see it in the future, so. <clears throat> anyway, so now let me show you how I made this one. I made this one so it's easier to place. If you wanna be extra cool, you can just kind of like dust the tail light too and that'll give you extra, extra uh, smoothness or extra movement because this is a little harder than the other one. It can, tends to stick quicker because it's longer and has more surface area. So what I do is, if you see here, I designed the corners right where this clear ends for you to put this corner right, this is not easy with one hand, right on that little piece right there. Right, right there. That sits right there. That way you know it's exactly the spot where it's gonna be. You see it's overhanging down here because we're getting ready to swivel it. So keep one finger on here. Go to this other side over here. Lift, lift this up. Pull it, keep this like a swivel, like you're, like you're a door hinge. Don't let that finger move. And pull it up until the line lines up with the, with the chrome edge. So you can see where the chrome edge hides under there. See the chrome is all hidden. Come down here. You're gonna see that this has got a little bit of wrinkles in it because we moved it. So kind of pull that wrinkle out with your finger here. Now take the squeegee, come back over here again to this side, lift up, lift up this edge slightly, put your finger back in this corner again, where you're first will give it, give it a little bit of a pull, get it straightened out. It'll, it'll automatically unwrinkle itself if you're doing this right. And you want to keep this corner. See, I get a little, I let it get off a little bit there. You want to keep this corner pulled. Here we go. You can give a little bit of pressure and it'll kind of slide if you have good liquid under it. Anyway, if you want to keep it pulled, it's going to sit on the indentation just like the other one. What you're going to do is take the squeegee, chase it this way. It's going to have a little bit of wrinkles pop up behind it. Don't worry about that. It'll automatically follow the line of, its, of leaf resistance and it'll bring itself to where it's supposed to be. Push it down here. And you see there, it's falling right in. If you do it right, it'll fall right in. If it doesn't, don't, don't fret. Don't push all the water out. If it doesn't fall in the place you want it, we'll peel it back up slowly, re-wet it again behind it, and do it all over again. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a tedious process for those who haven't done this before. But as you can see, it's, I've got it down here. I've got it all on the inside of here. Now this one, it's a little different than the other side, like I was saying. I made, I'd say maybe an eighth of an inch over overlay edge here and that's so when you hit, get the heating and everything's going in you can I see this little clear showing so i'm gonna pull the decal down slightly there we go <clears throat> you can roll it over the edge and by the time it's good and heated and soft it'll actually stick permanently so it'll become you know part of the uh part of the uh, tail light like glued to it so it'll be it'll be permanent as long as you take care of it for many 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 years car washes won't bother it nothing will bother it as long as you follow these instructions clean everything properly heat gun everything properly if you don't use a heat gun you're not going to get these decals to work they're they're a very thick good rep grade uh tent vinyl it's made to take rocks chips that kind of stuff a lot of dirt uh will stand a lot of scratches so <clears throat> if you don't use the wet method and the squeegee and the heat gun you're you're not going to be able to install these decals uh at all to look even close to what they're supposed to look like and then you know people like that give me one stars and it's not cool I appreciate it if you don't do that. If you if you think you can't do this, get a professional to do it. Get a friend to do it that knows what they're doing. You know, you want it done right. This is a car that you don't want to just slap stuff on, you know, and make it look right, uh, not good. So, anyhow, now <clears throat> the rest of the time here is uh, just going to be heat gunning. Get the heat gun here. Take the heat gun again. Set it on the medium setting. I turn mine on high. If you have high, if you don't, if you only have one speed or two speed. Now take it, take it to your hand until it warms up, but don't put it close enough to burn you. But once you get to the point where it's a little uncomfortable, that's warm, I mean, it's pretty much fully warmed. There we go. Now just go around all the edges. You're gonna see that lifting, wrinkly stuff going on again, because it's gonna be baking out, you know, uh, evaporating that liquid underneath. That's what you want. You want it to evaporate the liquid, heat it up so it wants to dry, and you see it's drying the uh, liquid from the squeegee that I used to keep it from scratching on top. Once you see that pretty dry, and you see there's an air bubble or two, Stop, you don't want to, those air bubbles to dry dry underneath. You're gonna chase these air bubbles because they're actually liquid, that's what they are. They're not air, they're liquid bubbles underneath. Chase them up until they come out. You'll see liquid, see that liquid starting to come out. So you squeeze the liquid out, come down here, go this way, squeeze the liquid out, come down, come all the way across, and then there you go. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over here and touch this one because I if you bump this one at all, you can, you can lift the edges, you don't wanna do that. So. 
there we go so that's that's the basics i mean after this it's just heat gunning <clears throat> watching for those wrinkles as soon as the wrinkles stop happening that means you've adhered pretty well there and you can go ahead and just keep on double checking you know and squishing it out make sure there's no little air bubbles like this has got an air bubble right there if you can see it yeah right there so you heat that up a little bit more you want it good and soft so it'll chase out easy and then you're going to take that squeegee chase it up chase it up follow there follow that water bubble air bubble we're going to call it it's usually water in there it, it chased out to the edge popped out now there's no more no more liquid under there stuck keep keep pushing it up until you get 100 percent out this is going to take a little bit of pressure but don't put too much because you'll start scratching things even with the uh, liquid uh, on your squeegee you can still scratch if you push too much and get too dry and let's go ahead and fast forward here because i gotta finish this and i it's gonna be hard to hold the phone so i don't want to sit here for five six ten minutes making you guys watch this plus i gotta clean this up and take photos after i'm done so this one eighth inch edge right here you're gonna do the same thing you did with this one keep on keep on warming it up chasing it out warming it up chasing it out you're gonna come back to this one after you finish this one and chase the rest of this out around those 3D pages. You can take your finger or your thumb and slowly drag it down when it's warm, when you heat it up with a heat gun and kind of drag it around it, squeeze out that, that extra fluid. And then you'll have to go back down this line every time though, because the fluid's usually gonna come in here, fill up that little ditch again, and put you back to square one on that. But uh, <clears throat> once you're all done, you're gonna heat up this edge, which I'm gonna do right now to show you before I stop the video here so I can finish uh, the whole process, which is the same thing that you're gonna be watching. So I don't become uh, monotonous here. Yeah, heat it up nicely. See, I'm moving really quickly. That way it doesn't hurt the tail light or the film. Turn it off, put it away safe. Go this way, just like the last one, right to the edge. Try not to go over and jump to this side so you're not smashing the, that edge like I just did. And come down here. Once you get it to where you want it, do the, do the same thing you did on the other side. Drag that squeegee slowly down, slowly up, slowly down until you get that water and everything out of, those, out of that crease. So you're trying to get, if you cleaned it well, it'll adhere really nicely and it'll never pop off. It'll become like paint. And you can see the decal is still soft, right? So, or sorry, not the decal, the overlay. So hit it again, get it nice and soft again. This time what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll that edge. You wanna get a little bit under it. So turn it at an angle so you can kind of get up under the decal, under the overlay right there. And also you're heating up the other one next to it. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. You're preparing the other side for the remainder. Now you're gonna take this, do one, one more time, make sure that little ditch is dug deep in and not, not gonna pull, because what you're gonna do next is gonna require full adhesion to the uh, tail light. So now you're gonna take this edge, come right here and push and roll behind. Push and roll behind. You're, you're taking that this edge and kind of and kind of like sliding it into the crack and forcing that vinyl to go onto the edge of the tail light. Right? So once you do that, that's why you use this, this, this felt so you don't tear, tear the edges up and pull on them or you know scratch uh, holes and lines in them. Keep doing that. And then just, that's all you gotta do. Just keep doing this for the rest of the time. You're gonna come in here, heat the edges, same with this. You're gonna run, run this around and down, get that air out, get that fluid out, down and down, round and down, until there's no more air left and no more fluid. And that's all you got to do. Just keep chasing those wrinkles, chasing those water air bubbles. And once you're finished, just double check everything for air bubbles. And then come back uh, and look for them and you can poke those with needles and smash them out with your thumb. Thanks for watching.